You can't really dislike him, can you? No, I don't Do think I mean? Robert Lewandowski... I don't ever look at Robert Lewandowski and think, like, you're an idiot, you. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another Q&A Extra episode where we delve deeper into a topic from this week's Q&A. Once again, I am joined by Jay from Stretford Paddock, and I think you are the one asking me the question this time around. Yes, the tables have turned, Yes. <laughs> Let me just ask you this question. This is coming from Footy Freak 95 and he says, or they say, hey, what do you think about the cancellation of the Ballon d'Or and who would have won it? Oh, uh, you know what? The cancellation, I was, I don't know, a part of me was still thinking that they were going to do it because I guess games have still been played, but at the end of the day, it's what the, over in France where they've cancelled it. So I guess they've had no football. So they've thought, no way, is Neymar and Mbappe missing out on this because they've not played enough. Um, so yeah, I think it's a bit of a shame. Uh, I think I've mentioned it before, but regarding who would have won it, for me, as much as it's been lovely with Messi and Ronaldo, Modric randomly was thrown in the middle of that, but it's been, that was bizarre, I will be honest, <laughs> when you look at him now. Um, and I just, I'm kind of over that now. Not saying I hate Ronaldo or I hate Messi or anything before everyone starts. Um, I think it's time for a new era of people to be given a chance. Um, and I think for me, the main person I saw winning it, I'm going to go with Robert Lewandowski. I think he's been absolutely amazing. Um, and, you know, he's 31 years of age. The amount of goals that he has scored has been absolutely phenomenal. I think he's been vital in that Bayern Munich side, um, helping them get that double. Who knows, he might even help them get a Champions League as well. Um, but yeah, I think every year his goal tally seems to get better and better. And he just doesn't disappoint. Um, he plays well in the important games. Like I say, he's got so many goals and some assists behind him. He, he's been fantastic. I can't really um, I can't really think of anything bad to ever say about Lewandowski. He has been phenomenal. And yeah, he would definitely have been winning it for me. Um, I know that there are other players. I know a lot of people have mentioned maybe Mbappe as well. Again, fantastic player. I think he's probably got a little bit more time to win it, shall we say, with his age. Not trying to be ageist, but you know, he's 31, Lewandowski, he's getting on a little bit. Um, I think we need to give him this Ballon d'Or now. Um, I, I would love to see him win it next year, to be honest. Um, I think that, like I say, his goal tally seems to get bigger each year and better. So I'm positive that he's going to do even better next season. And I reckon he's going to win it. I think he deserves it. No, I agree. I'd love to, you know, come up with something different, just be sort of a spark a debate. But it has been his season, really, hasn't it? You know, mm. and I know some people may look at it a little where you're playing in a Bayern Munich team that, that's always going to get goals and always going to get your chances and what have you. But... He's just, his record is phenomenal and let's face facts, you know, the reason he's at Bayern Munich is because he was doing it at Dortmund mm. those seasons ago. He, he's been able to score goals wherever he's gone and he has had a, a stellar season and it's a little bit of a shame because I think he would have won it. And, you know, listen, Messi and Ronaldo are still having great great seasons, great games. We know what they're capable of. Ronaldo obviously gone to Juve and, yeah, OK, but apparently merchants from my argue, but he still scores goals. Um, but, yeah, it's Lewandowski season and, yeah, it's a shame. And I'm like, I'm with you, I'm... You know, it'd be great to see him rewarded next season uh, if uh, Odi Nagalo misses out. If <laughs> Odi Nagalo misses out. OK, I like that thought. I mean, do you think Messi and Ronaldo will be in the top three? I think he's almost standard, isn't it? He? It's just like... Mm. and Yeah, I know, like... The, you know, from Barcelona point of view, it's not been the best season, but I think, you know, Ronaldo is obviously having a, a good season. I just think, and I know Messi individually is having a good season. I think, I don't think we're, we're over him yet. I think mm. it's still in that era, like you mentioned earlier, where it's, you feel like someone else has got to come and gate across the party almost. Yeah. But I still feel like it is that their party. So, you know, yes, you might get someone like, a, you know, we've seen in the past, Luka Modric or whoever, or if, if it was to happen with Dusky this season. But I still feel like those two are there, there or thereabouts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, do you think that we're going to see another defender, though? Like the Van Dijk situation? I mean, it's oh, very yeah. rare. I think the, 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 I mean, the, the reason I think Van Dijk was so lauded and rightly so is he just elevated that team so much. Mm. That, that team went from a, a sort of decent Premier League team to 
a Champions League winning team to yeah. a Premier League winning team. He just took them up almost like three notches, not yeah. just one. It wasn't like they just missed out on all these trophies. Then he came in and was, you know, got them over the line. This wasn't sort yeah. of Robin Van Persie going to Manchester United all them years ago. This was a player that took the entire team up a notch, well, up several notches, and made mm. them one of the best on the planet. So I don't know. I think you've got to be with it. I mean, there was, was talk on that Sergio Ramos could be in with a shout. Yeah. He's had a, he's had a great season. Oh, you know what? Sergio Ramos, he is just one of those players that I cannot hate. Like, I know, unless you're playing against yeah, him. Yeah, unless you're playing you're, against you him. You want to run on the pitch, so you yeah. want to put your foot through your TV. Yeah. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. I mean, I love Sergio Ramos, apart from when United play Real Madrid, yeah. and I want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> but he, there's talk, there was talk one there, because he's had a great season, he's reached mm. a lot of landmarks. Maybe he could be in with a shout. I don't think many people would complain if he'd won it. Yeah. Sometimes as well, you can win these awards almost as a recognition of your career. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, rather than you, that season. Mm. But yeah, I think that it does take a pretty phenomenal season from a defender to get there. And I think that Van Dijk had that. Ramos, not quite had the phenomenal phenomenal season that Van Dijk has had, but he's had that sort of great season on the back of a great career that's winding down. So you can get the plot it's there. But it's very difficult for defenders to win these accolades because, you know, we like watching people score goals and take people on and create chances. And it's, it's much more mm. sort of shiny and exciting than a defender yeah. just sort of stops all that. Mm. So I think it is harder for a defender yeah. to win that. And I'm, yeah, I mean, I guess thinking about Lewandowski again, like, I think it's, I want to say I could be wrong, I think it's something like 34 goals in like 30, 31 appearances in the Bundesliga, which is astounding. And like I say, I hope that he's able to, you know, get 40 maybe next season, <laughs> who knows? Um, yeah. but... Well, you look at, you know, no, because like 31 is the new 28 or something, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because I'm old, but... <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get into this 28 and so it's 29 argument, otherwise uh, we'll be here all day. But no, if you look at like, you know, look at Ronaldo's 35, he's still banging in the goals. Mm. These players look after themselves. They know about things that we didn't know about years ago. Nutrition, dieting, things like that. Mm. The training is tailor-made for him. So it wouldn't surprise me if Lewandowski went on next season and banged in another 30-odd goals at all. Mm. Because, you know, like I said earlier, these players look after themselves. They can play even a striker like that can play into mm. the 30s, well into the 30s, so we'll wait and see. Are there any other strikers that you think could get close to his goal tally and the season that he's had this season? Do you think there's anyone else? Because at the moment, I just see him as the front runner and I'm trying to think, obviously, minus, you know, your Messi's and Ronaldo's and stuff. Is there anyone else that could maybe shock us and, and contend next season? I mean, you look at, going back, to, I mean, just look at, the, the Premier League, for example, I think, you know, you look at the top scorers in and around there, Obama Young, he's 31. Mm. I think, I know I've just said there, you know, obviously that doesn't mean, mean you're out of it. I think the problem for Obama Young is Arsenal aren't necessarily going to be challenging. Yeah. And they've got a lot of work to do. I mean, they're in mid-table at the minute. He's sort of carried them through. Can he kick on again next season and do it again? They're going to have to bring in, for me, they need at least seven players before yeah. they're going to be having anywhere near a title challenge, which is where Arsenal historically have, mm. have been. Um, so they've got in Mikel Arteta has got a massive rebuilding process. So I wouldn't I don't know if Aubameyang can hit the sort of numbers. Jamie Vardy again. Jamie again, Vardy for the Ballon d'Or. Nah, don't see that happening. To be honest with you. <laughs> Are that'd you sure? The, that'd be the craziest thing I think we'd ever seen. That if he, <laughs> if he was there at a ceremony collecting a Ballon d'Or. Um, again, scores a lot of goals, but he's in a team that are in fits and starts, and he's getting sort of towards his mid thirties, so he's not. Mm. You know, he he's not got many seasons left at the very very top, um, and then. Maybe someone like, and I, I know people go, oh, you're just obsessed with United, but Anthony Marshall's having a great season. Mm. If he was to kick on next season and he was to have yeah, Bruno and Pogba be, Bruno, exactly, do, mm. have, do better and have Bruno Pogba beh behind him for the entire season, then he can potentially hit the sort of numbers that we're talking about when we mentioned mm. the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo um, and Robert Lewandowski. We'll have to see. But yeah, you know, and, and also he's got time on his side because he's a young player and he's 23. So you'd yeah. expect him to improve. So maybe next season might be a season too, too soon, mm. but I don't think it's beyond the realms of possibility that one day that happens. I mean, it's in his contract, it's in his clause. When we mm. bought him from Monaco, United bought him. I think one of the, the things was if he wins the Ballon d'Or, we have to give Monaco another 20 million quid or whatever. Wow, I, I, I didn't know I, I, that. I, yeah, no, it was, wow. it, was, it, was, it was it was thrown in apparently because he was that highly rated as a teenager when he came to Old Trafford. And 
you know, I, I hope we have to pay him that money. I hope he does it. Here's hoping. Well, at the moment, we're both in agreement that Robin Lewandowski should have won it this season. And let's hope next season, if Anthony Marshall can't do it, because we're both United fans, we are more than happy to see Robert Lewandowski win it, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't, it's one of the players you can't really dislike him, can you? No, I don't That's think Robert Lewandowski... I don't ever look at Robert Lewandowski and think, like, you're an idiot, you. Like, yeah, get, get him off the pitch. We're, yeah, he's so he's annoying. One of those players. Yeah. He's very he smiley as well, and I think that goes a long way. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, he's he's had a bit of outlook. Was it? I think it was in 2015. He came, he, he was in the top four, I think, for the Ballon d'Or. Mm. I think he came, but he came well, top four. He came fourth. Mm. Um, so he's been. I think he's been there thereabouts before, but he's not ever had that. And sometimes it can be a mixture of both. Kind. It can be an acknowledgement of the season you've had, like I mentioned with Ramos, and your career. Mm. You can sort of. It's the perfect storm where you say this guy's had a great career and he's had a great season, his best season. So he deserves it. So yeah, I think that. Other than maybe a few Bayern Munich rivals, most people will be happy to see Robert Lewandowski get that individual accolade. Mm. And it's nice when it's not just Messi and Ronaldo every year, yeah, and it, it that is. just gets a little bit boring. Come on. It does. But, um, well, yes, that is everything for that question. Thank you very much for the question. And thank you very much to Jay, who is joining us from Stretford Paddock. Thank you. It's been lovely chatting. It has been great, you know. I enjoy these chats and looking back and looking over. Sorry, some of the better players in the in in Europe as well. It's been great. Mm. But yeah, don't forget to check out all the other content that we have got going on. Like I say, thank you for watching. Thank you for the questions, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>